Welcome back, Zero K fans, to the finals of the May Zero K one v one tournament. Going between Randy and Google Frog, as Clon has just beaten Lowry two to one for third place. So congratulations, Clon, on getting third place. Congratulations and... to Clon. Yes. Yeah. Good. He played well. And then, although Lowry played surprisingly well for being how tired he was, apparently. Still. Yeah. We are about to start the game for Randy and Google Frog. That will be up in now. Just getting the game started. And On Eye of Horus. Eye of Horus, the map of length. It's. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this map. Really, this is. It's big. It has a lot of starting positions. You can do almost any factory from vehicles, tanks, your jumpers, your spiders. Everything will work. And there's time to build up. There's time, there's room to flank. Yeah, it's actually the one time I've ever seen a silencer in a 1v1. Clone versus Randy. Yeah, that's I have also possible here. Yeah. So Google Frog in the north going for Clickbot Factory. Randy also Clickbot, which is not surprising at all. But I often see this map. Luck and have fun to both of these finalists. Oh, whoops. Here's Sam. Yeah, are yeah. we get Glaive Rush by Randy. And a small scout, no rush by Google Frog. So Google Frog going for a defensive play. Randy going for a light glaive rush, only three glaives. Actually, he's going for a, well, spread out scout, but basically a rush. Surprisingly, though, I've noticed that players tend not to to start anywhere but the center. Despite the sheer number um, of start locations, as you mentioned, the center is where people tend to go. Um, yeah, usually. It's, uh... Gives you access to the most metal. But yeah, I've seen it in the corners as well, but um, nobody's taking it for granted. That's true. Randy has scouted all three locations and has found uh, <coughs> uh, Google Frog. At the cost of a glaive, but yeah, he does have the other two glaives going from the back with you might only want one defender. Exactly, there's just one oh, defender. Better, Google Frog only has... No, he has radar. He does know about this glaive. And Randy doesn't have any defenses at all. The radar has gone down. On. He did get on defenses, but he is relying on his glaive micro. Oh! Which is pretty good glaive micro. Losing... He got the raid, he got the glaive, he got the max. Wow. Nice raid by, uh, by our Google Frog. Yeah, Google Frog did a nice job there. Randy, however, does have Randy, a second glaive uh, coming in here favor. for the next max. Maybe not as glaive efficient, but still does the job. So this defender. Actually, I think this game will uh, go on for a while. They'll just throw uh, groups of glaives at each other. Yeah, I have horse games often go 20, 30 minutes. Like, they're super long games. I'm just saying a lot, like 20 or 30 minutes. Man, that is a marathon game right there. Because in zero K, it really is. Yeah, so mm -hmm. is coming on on the side. Google now Frog he can another... lose his con, but yeah, there there goes Google Frog. I think he sees him. He sees it. I think he'll try to bump in it. It looks like he's given up on yeah, that. Yeah, come on, a little he... bit to the right. Now he misses it. No, Ooh, that was very close. That was a nice dodge. He assumes though. he had retreated in uh, to the guys here, but yeah. So it's gonna be. Basically a matter of trying to get through this hill area and then get down and deal with Randy's forces or just stay in here. But no, he's going Look back. This. Good choice. Very good choice. Google Frog goes back to actually deal with the Conjurer. We'll be able to do that. Same time, there was a Glaive being sent to harass the west side, but it didn't work out. And the Conjurer about to go down. Down it Randy goes. Randy is uh, really behind now. If you look at uh, the distribution of units. Wow. And the income as well. Yes. Randy is well behind by 400 metal and... Income's about the same, but he's definitely... Less spread out and way. Map Quite funny how Google Fro Frog keeps two of those clays back. Well, it kind of keeps your opponent on their toes. It keeps them honest. I mean, you're not going. It, you don't go back to your base all the way. Then, yeah, they might counterattack, and you got to make sure you have defenses for that. But at the same time, if they counterattack, then you can attack once again. And now they have to be even more careful. And then they know that, and then they don't even bother to counterattack because you have that little bit of soft contain on them. Uh, the defender finishes in time on the right side. Yep. So that glaive is not going to do much. However, at the same time, we have these glaives coming in. They're going straight uh, into the wall. Like they are not. At all. 
No, they need to flank the line. They can't go directly. Oh, they are oh, luring I... out some of the glaives, but didn't quite. Yeah, he's just he's just uh, poking. He's not really want. Oh, he this want to perfect timing. Randy's line was too thin, and he just lost a glaive for free. Now he's positioning himself properly, but Google Frog has had more time to get into a good position. But this is not going to be good. Google Frog is losing the encirclement war, but able to retreat back, despite being in a bad position, has managed to kill two glaives for free. So Although Randy has, has had a bigger economy, he's behind the units. Yeah, Frog although just... it looks as if Google Frog is keeping Randy back, he still has uh, more income. And Randy about to harass him from the, from the north. I think it's Google this Frog, side, there's a defender. Google Frog can <laughs> take the east easily, and the west with less ease. Randy, on the other hand, he can't easily take the center at this point. That's sort of the problem. Google Frog has a lot more map control. Google Frog has 300% attrition now. Thanks for pointing that out, uh, Anarchid. Oh. I like that widget. <laughs> Do you have it? I don't. Is it. Does it work for multi. for spectators? Yeah, I think so. W oh, okay. But, Let's try uh, I don't think it does. It's. No, it looks like it goes for whatever player is currently selected as active. Doesn't show both simultaneously. Ah, oh, this glaive here on the right side could do so much damage now. <laughs> if he's not oh, uh, behind. It's not going to. It's going in front. Actually, he's going to get rid of the radar tower, which is not a bad move. Although, if it can. Yeah, it can. Slow, but will. Well, the... Uh... And that radar tower goes down. The constructor got up there, so then the glaive should be able well, as well. I figured the constructor beam was just long enough. So yeah, Randy does not uh... have... He only has line of sight to that area. That glaive is actually able to retreat. They're Gets out of line coming. of sight. No, not quite. It's now out of line of sight. Can't be spotted, but at the same time... He loses uh, a tick. Yeah, Randy drops a tick for nothing, and that glaive gets away. The harassing glaive gets away. He Randy doesn't has even want to run over it. Side. He's afraid. Yeah, well, at this so point, ah, it's kind of deserved. That's four glaives. Uh... No, nice harassment the frog is uh, wasting some of his advantage. Yeah, but Randy's basically counter harassed quite effectively to the northeast. He's so good at. Same... Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, he's good at staying on a relatively small amount of income. Yeah, he but just think... focuses on what he has and doesn't hasn't been expanding like crazy this tournament. It's something which he usually does. Yeah, though I think I noticed that Randy is. I mean, lack of map control is probably going to bite him eventually. A oh, nice glaive, actually, right? In the, or no, that was a tick that went off a bit too close to the metal extractor, but still. Google Frog able to push off the the harassment, but does have to rebuild there. Still has his glaives in the back, though, just to make sure that Randy can't expand to the southeast. And even in the southwest, he has some glaives up. Or a glaive. A couple more glaives as reinforcement. He could probably take out this defender line and take out this entire base. Mm. It's still dangerous that, to get though. so close to your opponents. It is dangerous, um, but oh, defender line There's is working. The, out. The, um, Man, distance to line. your opponent's factory is so small he can churn out those bigger warriors and Zeus's. That's and true. You have to fight because you've invested into turrets in that location. So well, it's, it's a dangerous move. Very much focused on glaive, a tick supported glaive, which is going to work out fairly well, assuming that. Randy bunches up, but he probably won't. Randy's been very fastidious about line moving this entire time. Slightly to his detriment, he's actually spread out a bit too often occasionally, but overall, the tick is not going to be as effective as it would be if it was just clump units. Still, like Google, Frog, Google Frog has the center pretty securely, and he can start mm. taking... He's taking the northwest. He doesn't the really northeast. have it. He doesn't... He's not getting any resources from it. No, but he could expand there if he wanted to. He just needs to actually do that. He made a huge commitment without any profit as of yet. Yeah. I think it's more trying to intimidate so he keeps his northwest and northeast. And that's not working though. Randy is harassing both, going the northeast first. The glaives are getting getting distracted a bit. But the northwest, Google Frog has set up a defense force, so in both cases Google Frog has himself set up pretty nicely. But Randy able to just sneak around the glaives that Google Frog had set up. Over the hills. Error is out, is out for Google Frog. Hmm? Error is out for Google Frog. Ah, yes, he does have a couple ravens. No sh no phoenixes yet. A swift, however, 
No switch for Randy. In fact, Randy's factory is idle. Randy's been floating metal. Wow, that's uncharacteristic. That is very uncharacteristic. I think he might have been a bit of a mistake. Uh, Forgot so to build much plays yet. That's good. Yeah, so Randy over the northeast has raided out successfully over the northwest. Is just about to. And at the same oh, time, the we do have a com might die now. Jump con will die. So at the same time, the jump con dies though. It's gonna be. Oh yeah, the defender misses that one. Oh, nothing that matters. But yeah, jump con goes down. Randy loses recon commander. Google Frog keeps his commander, but loses his entire northwest side of the map. So both. So Randy is actually quite a ways ahead in economy right now. He's taken his entire half of the map, while Google Frog has not really taken his effectively. Oh, what somebody the? pauses. Oh, Randy's a phone call. Okay, well, I guess we need to sort of go over what's going on here right now. Stuff! Stuff's going on. <laughs> Randy has glaives everywhere. Both the left and the right side of Google Frog. Yeah. Actually, I think Google Frog has more glaives than Randy does right now. No, never mind. Randy's glaives are mostly inside of Google Frog's base. So I'm quite wrong in that count, and he might actually go for a flank kill. Or at least heavy flank attack. If he found out about this fusion. Wow. Yeah, if that... If he knew about that. Well, I should say, if Randy... If his fusion was exposed. Google Frog's just going for a geo plant, not going for a fusion. Still. Randy is in a solid spot. Though, admittedly, Google Frog won a game pretty recently in a similar position. I think uh, fighter spam might work from here. Yeah, swift spam could work, because that would easily be able to get rid of the glaives. And we're back to uh, for them to shoot. Oh, nice. Google Frog is... He did manage to get into the southeast side, so he's able to counter raid. Keeping okay, Randy from getting so too big, but then again, Randy does have a couple glaives. No, five glaives. Google Frog is going to have a hard time if, even, if it's even possible for him to get out of there. But he does manage to get out of there with the glaives. Randy still does not have... No, he does have radar in that area. So he knows there's glaives going out. At the same time, the Swifts are coming in to get rid of the glaives. And with enough of them, that should Frog is going really well. to... Uh, he's now going to max bump. Which is exactly how he should go. Uh, what are those fighters doing? They are getting into a bad position, but they are trying to get rid of glaives. Being a counter raid force. Not a bad idea, and Google Frog didn't get rid of these glaives over in the northeast as well. While sending some of his own glaives out to the southeast. And it looks like the northeast glaives are trying to move in. Having no other option, trying to go in for more harassment. One of them is trying to retreat, one of them trying to harass. But they are all going to go down. Randy puts down his own fighter. His own factory, air factory. Yeah, it's got the air going factory against the Hawks. Trying to outdo yep. it that way. And hammers as well. Trying to push out the center with hammers rather than trying to go in with yeah, laser warriors. Yeah, that's what I mean. If you're fighting close to your opponent's factory, you can use those type of units. Indeed you can. Right side gets denied again. That's good. Yep, Google Frog continuing to get rid of... Oh no, Google Frog losing all of his glaives that were set up here. That... That could have gone better. Unfortunately, he was not paying attention to that part of the map. And... He still able to deny needs that, just but... A couple more constructors no, no. to get his... Uh, Land captured again. Yeah, this area could have been recaptured, and Google Frog is retaking the northeast. But he needs to worry about this. I mean, the Swifts are growing in number, though the Hawks are about to be set up for dealing with that. Sounds like, like American football teams. Anyway, <laughs> Swifts versus the Hawks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, the Hawks, well, the Seahawks are a football team. I don't know about the Swifts, if there's anything that works for that. I don't know any American football team. Well, I only know about the Seahawks because they're 100 kilometers south of where I live. Oh. Yeah, like Seattle's 100, kilometers, or 100 or so kilometers south of Vancouver. Anyway, with Google Frog, well, his main defenses are starting to go down, but not that quickly. And honestly, a few glaives here would just do the trick to get rid of those hammers. And speaking of a few glaives, or a few dozen glaives, over the west we have that. I see Rocco's getting out. Yeah, Rocco's are being built for both players, actually. Google Frog going pure Rocco as... Well, Randy goes mostly for glaives. Getting a bunch of Hawks as well, and... Looks like Google Frog is still expanding more slowly. Randy has been much more on the ball about rebuilding. It's slight, but it's 
definitely kind of important. However, Google Frog does have a military advantage. And getting size as well. Getting two size, probably going to see if he can get rid of the fusion plant. You can, no, that would be a... You just want to hunt Max in the back. That's probably the better option, yeah. But hey, if you can get rid of the fusion plant, that would be pretty big. Still, Rocco's are counterattacking in here, trying to get rid of these Lotuses, which won't be a problem. The these Lotus to go down, down, and Glaze behind it. That's where we do see a lot of damage in output. Map like this. And Glaive Rocco fight about to not start. Uh, not there are all. a lot of fighters. Randy is about to take over the air if uh, he starts a fight now. With this yes. amount of fighters. No gremlins, surprisingly. And Google going for a vulture wants to know. I guess wants to shouldn't feel too safe with, with, with his position in the air. And I think he is. <laughs> I think you're right, but he might be trying to figure out scythe targets. And right in the center of the map here, both of them. Like now, he's, now you will note, notice the uh, fighters. Yeah. They will be like, oh shit. <laughs> I don't only have these That's fighters. The problem. And there's the oh shit move, getting those Swiss out of there. Is he going to switch to gremlins, I wonder? I, f I guess, yeah. No. Um, no, I'm not going for it. Randy keeps on making fighters while he could stop and focus on land again. I don't well, think he knows how much fighters Google well, Frog has. Pushing both. I mean, I don't know. He could, I suppose, push land a bit harder. But Google Frog pretty much just... Uh, a good attack would could do it. I'm surprised he hasn't gone for... Oh, no, there's the Phoenix. This is the Phoenix. The Vulture is going for it. Google Frog needs to know what's going on, and he is going to find out pretty soon. Oh, boy. That's a nasty line of Rocos. That is a nasty line of Rocos, but it's going to be... It's not going to be the biggest deal. The Vulture does see the salient target, sees the Fusion Reactor, sees everything. Google Frog, well aware of what is inside Randy's base. He might lose the Vulture, but that was invaluable information. And in fact, doesn't lose the Vulture. Oh, no. No, he does. Never mind. Could have saved it, but it goes to his death. Same time, though, a bunch of Swifts trying to come in here to try to deal with the Hawks. Two, two Swifts go down from nothing. A bunch of Glaze, however, on the ground trying to deal with what they can, but even then... I would like to see some hammers of Google Frog at this point, just to have them pound the right side. I think they were pretty well. An Eraser is coming in, though. That's kind of surprising. An Eraser will be coming in to deal with, I guess, helping cloak these guys out. And size as well. Now, Google Frog does not have the energy for Eraser, I don't think. He only has 57 energy, and he's using 45 Randy is of it. wasting metal. <laughs> yeah, Randy needs another factory. Or 20 another per second at this point. Caretakers. This is that's just way too much metal. But even then, Randy, his, his production is huge. He's gotten a 10k for army size. Or just about 10k for army size. Google Frog doing what he can to deal with this, to push this back. But a bunch of Glaives are cutting into his line. Unfortunately, they are coming in one at a time, so they are oh, going boy. down pretty quickly. This is not working. <laughs> no, Randy's actually losing a lot here, but even then, just sheer numbers are able to... No, not quite. Sheer numbers aren't enough. Oh, boy. And actually, yeah, down go those... Bumpers, but... Oh, man, that is a tough shot there. At the same time, those sites are doing nothing. They've been sitting there. I think Google Frog has forgotten about their existence. But Randy... Oh, he's wasting a lot of stuff. Randy is still about 10k for... Medal of his army. Where is Google Frog putting all this metal in? Well, he's got an eraser. He's got a couple sides. And a ton of Rockos. So oh. I'd say it's probably the Rockos. Yeah, this... This eraser right here. That could be very useful. And now the sides have been remembered. They are going in. They're going to take out these hammers, which is might not be the best way of dealing with it. But hey, it will work. Get rid of the hammers. Stop those. Oh, no. Bad move. That's the problem. The hammers are going to die, but so are the size. And actually, These one are of the size dies. Expensive. Yeah, well. If he could just get one there in the back, in the right corner. Yeah, really. If he gets the scythe over to the southeast side of the map, that would do tons of damage. But now the scythe has been revealed. Google Frog lost the element of surprise in that one. And while he does have a defender line all across Factories are everything. idle again. He's wasting about 40 metal per second now. Yeah. Well, Randy really doesn't like his, the infinite build. It's total annihilation habit as far as I know. 
But he does not <laughs> tend to use infinite builds. He always builds up in units of 100 or so. So once that's done, and it's over. And most games it's not done, but games this size, it will be. And nice tick usage, but even then, Randy still has to retreat. Despite uh, Idol Factories, he uh, still had an army value. At this point, I would like to uh, and make a no uh, Hexaw or a uh, Bustle. Now, what is it called? Those uh, rapid fire anti air cannons? Oh, the Cobra? Yeah, and the other one with the rockets? Oh, Hacksaw. Hacksaw, yeah. Hacksaw, Chainsaw, Cobra. Screamer is the really powerful, expensive one, but wouldn't use that. Though, yeah, it looks like Google Frog not even bothering to go for that. Does have a character in the center for reclaim and for healing, but looks like he's pretty good for reclaim. Getting a heavy tank factory and not enough caretakers to make that worthwhile. Getting more, getting some ticks out of his factory or clickbot factory just for extra spending. But his tank factory not being used. And the center of the map we have, well, one Phoenix coming in to try to burn out these rockets, but it's not enough. And a very nice stiletto attack, disarming a ton of the Rockos. Having the army size effectively for the next few seconds. The Google Frog is wasting single units every time. Mm -hmm. Especially the planes. Which is kind of problematic. Google Frog, it looks as if he has the bigger part of the map covered, but it's not the case. It's not giving him it's any half. eco advantage. Yeah, Google Frog is still behind an eco. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that Randy is getting a very nice overdrive. Like every Probably. single one of those mechs is overdriven by about yeah, one and a half times. Yeah, he set up. Jesus, he made seven pilots. That's something you don't see that often in a 1v1. Yeah. And the thing is, he's making three metal per max compared to Google Frog's two just because of overdrive. Yeah. That is a huge difference. However, the eraser being used to hide a missile silo and for some reason a bunch of stingers. And the missile silo not even being constructed. Well... Yeah... Here comes the first tank. Ah, yes, there it is. Being built a Reaper coming up. Not sure if it's going to work in the map with this many units. I'm not sure how well that's going to work out. <laughs> I have my doubts. It doesn't know what it wants to shoot. Yeah. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Is the thunder... No, okay. He doesn't know about the nuclear silo. Not yet. Not yet, but he's probably going to be able to just crush into it. The Reaper, however, is up, and it is... Doing some damage, but still, given its speed and accuracy, given the range, not going to work out too well. We do have some Ravens and Phoenix coming in to burn out a couple rocks, but oh, not that's enough. Nice. But the Hawks weren't in place. And that missile silo not being constructed. More Lotuses coming in, though. So much reclaim there. Jeez, that's what we're fighting for. Yeah. And Google Frog has now finally gotten a fusion plant, I think. Or Google either that or enough solar. getting behind an eco. <laughs> he is, but his energy is okay. Is everything else not so much? Yeah, Randy has... About to lose his Reaper. Oh, there there Reaper? he goes. He lost his Reaper just now. No, no, not quite. It's not quite dead yet. No, I mean in the center. It was over here. Oh, yeah, never mind. That's one being constructed. Oops. That is unfortunate. We have a bit of... Man, this is being... Massive no man's land. Huge graveyard of robots. With not any reclaim happening and this silo not being built up. Oh, never mind. Now it is. Nope, it's not. What the heck is going on? What oh, is being built up? Google Frog is just starting to stall somewhat. Which is rather Frog unfortunate. Frog has caught up in economy, finally. He has caught up. His military is still down by 5,000 metal, though. Yeah, it's army value. That's and all in planes. It is all in planes, that's true. I think, so I think uh, maybe a Cobra or one of those Cobra tanks, what are they called? Copperheads. Oh, yeah. yeah. Would be nice. Not sure if he's going to go for that, though. That would really work out, but I think he's too worried about losing the ground war if he does that. Which at this point may not be a concern. Actually, I think at this point is not a concern. I think Google Frog at least has a decent enough defensive line that he doesn't have to worry too much about the ground war. I have to worry a little bit, but this one, not so much. The Eraser is getting away from the missile silo, which is even No, he close. sees it. Does he see it? He I hasn't seen so. it yet. I'm, I'm, 
Oh no, buildings effect, don't cloak no. anymore, that's right. Erasers don't cloak buildings. Silly. No, of course not. That was overpowered. That was overpowered, that was broken. And we are seeing straight up nukes oh, being used. The nuke. Kaboom, into the base, baby. getting... Oh no, that was an inferno. The next thing is the straight up nuke. <laughs> However, the oh, caretakers are wasting their these, time uh, and metal healing each power. other. Oh, on, it's oh number no, it's... Ah, the silo goes down before it fires off the real nuke. Oh, boy. Still, it burns out all the caretakers. I think it was worth every point of metal in in in, uh, in dead caretakers. caretakers yeah, alone. dead caretakers now range is gonna be just that much further behind when it comes to army construction. The economy advantage makes little difference. Now, if Google Frog can tear apart these rockers, he should be okay. But on the other hand, the sheer number of ravens and shadows is proving a massive problem. But this commander has this uh, Lazarus device. Oh, it does. But I can't use it yet. It needs to stay close. It's under way too much threat right now. It needs yeah. to push this all back. And yeah, Copperheads and Cobras will be a great idea, but I think Cobra... I think Boofog is not going to go for that. I don't think he can uh, hold uh, this attack. It, Randy will keep pushing from here on through the center. And bombing. And Google Frog cannot yeah. stomp both the air and these continues. And he has more caretakers once again, so he's pushing a lot into tanks, getting a lot of Reapers of his own. And there's enough tanks that really, or enough characters that really doesn't matter. The attack before was cool, but it didn't do enough. And down goes Google Frog's commander. So that missile silo cannot be resurrected. And I think this is going to be, I think Randy's going to push in for the kill right now. And that is, that's it. That's all it's going to be. <laughs> yep. This was an awesome game. It was because Randy yeah. stuck to, uh, to his, to his uh, area. He could defend what he had. Yeah. And he kept Google Frog ah, from taking his up. corners for a long time. But yeah, the fact that Google Frog could not get a corners, like you said, that was huge. I mean, Randy really was on the ball for that. Google Frog, he had the idea, but it wasn't the execution wasn't quite as much there, unfortunately. So that is. Well, now it's the cleanup stage. I think Google Frog. I don't know if he has any other tricks up his sleeve that he might go for. No silencers, mind you. Neither player going for that. Which I guess was a bit of a joke in Cluelands part, but yeah. Randy, I suppose, could go for that just to rub in Google Frog's face. Google Frog, I suppose, could go for that too, just for the sake of trying to push back by way of strategic nuke if he lasts another four minutes. Which seems unlikely. No, it's not going to happen. These Reapers alone are going to tear everything apart. But the rock is behind it, that'll just seal the deal, and then after that, Google Frog will go into game two. This is best of five, by the way, so even losing game one isn't the biggest deal. Nope. Anyway, we have final push here for Randy. Copperheads are in place, but I don't think Arian is even going to come in. The Reapers should be fine. Actually, no, this Reaper's going to die. One of the Reapers is going to die, the other Reaper should be okay. And at the same time, over the northwest side, down Reaper in the main base gone down. Northwest side is going down the Google Frog, and Google Frog surrenders, and that is game. GG. Everything blows up. Very nice. It's just the beginning. Yeah, that was round one, people. So we Five, are going on twenty-six to... minutes to thirty-minute games. You will be here for at least two hours. Oh, <laughs> too long. Uh, we've just been casting for about four and a half hours. It's okay. Just four hours, but yeah. Welcome back, Zero K fans, to game two of Rangers Google Frog Finals for the Zero K May 1v1 tournament. Shredder 333 with Flores the 14th. And we yeah, are. Flores gonna... 15. Yeah, that's me. Yes, he is there. And now we're on to game two on Drab, which is exactly as it sounds. And it is. <laughs> oh, that's purple water, and someone mentioned that they like the purple water. But, yeah, this is an accurate, if underconfident, name for this map. Yep. And we see air start versus air start. We see one shadow versus another shadow. Oh. And, or hawk, or what is their name? Raven. Raven, yeah. Uh, Google Frogs is out a little bit later. And something to point out about this map is that the maxes are just crazy. They you are labeled. Of, 
D is one. Yeah, they're D is so four crazy. They are labels. D is three and a half. A is five, and C is two. So you can see on the map what things are, what mexes are which. Though we're trying to remember which ones are which, you might as well just use F4. But at least you know they're different. At least Randy it's obvious didn't about that. See it. Is there a way to protect your metal extractor from that bomb? Not easily. Sort of a downside of a playing on a map that's got one okay. major metal extractor. It builds instantly, yeah. I mean, you get it back immediately, but still, yeah, you just. One five metal metal extractor? I don't know. Just keep bombing that one metal extractor. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, I was supposed to get enough defenders that it would kill the bombers in the process, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see if Google Frog goes for that. It does get more solar collectors, but that's not going to do any good against bombers. And. Oh, Swift is taking a fair amount of damage. However, Raven's coming in here with another bomb. Going to take out Randy's, but at the same time, Randy's going to lose his to. Before the Swift gets in. Swift actually on the ground, not the best response point, and in the factory at the time, not able to respond at all as this mech's once again going down. Both players are once again back to commander economy. Although, Randy just about to take a D mech, which isn't great, but still something. No, never mind, he's not even gonna bother. Going back to retake the A mechs. Randy has two fighters out, this should be... He can now kite the, um... Hawk. With the you rocket could. and the, the afterburner, or what is it? Oh, that comes. is afterburner, yeah. Or speed boost, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, I think this game is released now. I Too agree. Bad. It was a nice try. But Google Frog is not having enough hawks to counter those swifts, and that is. And given that there's not a lot of way of spreading out the metal extractors, there's not much that can be done there. Goo Frog. Oh, it's my leg tractor, but it looks like another Raven attack coming in here. And that is not going to be pretty. And there are the mechs goes again. Once again, down goes the mechs. And that Raven actually might go down, though. It's going to go down to the Hawk. It's going to go down to the Hawk. It does go down to the Hawk. So at least that's one less. Ra that's no Ravens for Randy. So neither player can that's really bomb each other out. So now they have to play the game as more normally. More normally. Relative measure. And Randy going for the B-Max, so he's going to get another 3.5 medal right there. While Google Frog has not expanded out, he's going for a jump bot switch. Bit premature. Randy has the better plan with economy first. Oh yeah, by far. Which is rather unfortunate for Google Frog, but this BMAX is kind of risky to take. I mean, it's going here. Admittedly, yeah, it is three and a half, but that's still a lot of ways to attack it. I don't know. I can see why Google Frog would be apprehensive. It's, everyone's doing marker conga lines in my stream. What the heck? <laughs> Good God. This is silly. I think they just don't carry him. I mean, Randy and Goofrog. Goofrog is a really good player, but it's just. And no, I don't have any stimulants on me at all. Nothing. I don't have yeah. any. I don't have any Coke. I don't have any pop. I don't have any coffee. I only have decaf tea. I don't have any amphetamines. <laughs> I've got nothing. Bump on the head usually works well as well. Wouldn't that have the opposite effect? Pain makes you awake. Well, do, don't, oh. not too hard, but... <laughs> that's what I meant. Someone smacks you really hard in the head and you get knocked out. Doesn't no, that's really not how I meant. You, sh you can just hit yourself. You're knocked out and then you wake up and you have internal bleeding and hemorrhaging and now we've got to go to the hospital for an aneurysm alone. Well, at least it will keep, keep you awake a little bit longer, I guess. Yeah, and then I'm dead. That doesn't do me any good. <laughs> the Google Frog no. is going for that B expansion, but still Randy 17 oh, actually trying to font size. 17 and 1720 to 1313. Google Frog is behind. The Pyro switch is definitely powerful, but 
Now a Raven has come in. It's targeting that Pyro. Swift trying to do what he can, but the Pyro is going to jump in time. Jump. No, it nope, started it to doesn't. jump. It started to jump, but got hit. It jumped right into the bomb. Uh, too many. Uh, too many Swifts. Swifts. That Hawk is going to go down. Yep. And down it goes into the ground. Flies directly into the ground because it's sick of life. Realized the important numbers hit zero, so it had to die. <laughs> that was his job. However, looks like Avenger comps or Swift comp snipes coming in here. You have some Ravens coming in to help out, but looks like the Swift is primarily the tool of choice in this case. The Pyro is going to help out a fair bit, though. Are they going to set him on fire? Oh, that'd be so cool if they actually. Yes, they did. One of the Swifts is on fire. <laughs> However, the Google Frog does ultimately lose his commander. Did not get upgraded at all, but still loses his commander and makes a nice hole in the ground for Pyro stuck in. But Another Pyro about to go down to a Raven attack, and I think this is it. I don't think Google Frog is really going to bother with anything else. There it goes. That is game two. Throws in the towel. So we're going to be moving on to game three in just a couple minutes, so stay tuned. Welcome back, 0K fans, to Game 3 of the Finals, possibly the last game, because we are in 2-0 for Randy against Google Frog. 0K 1v1 tournament for May. These are the brackets. This is the Finals. Maybe the last game for today, after which I will immediately crash, fall asleep, possibly in my chair right now. But for now, we have the game. And it will be played, because that's what games are done for. Playing. Randy starting with the Jump Out Factory in the south side of the map. This is on Vitra, by the way. Goofrog on shields on the north side of the map. So Vitra, I showed it off yesterday, but basically two clusters, north and south, and then an evenly spread set of mechs along the rest of the map. With hills kind of going into a low area in the center with a few cliffs here and there and a nice smooth ramp in the center. Vehicles don't work especially well in this map. They kind of have to go around the side. But bots work fine. So jump bot and shield bot will work perfectly well. Yep. Randy with jumpers, as expected. Uh, wind's very useful because your starting location is very high up. Um, there's plenty of metal. And there's plenty of room to raid. Indeed. You're getting more noisy, by the way. But anyway, Randy is... Randy's going for a bit of a raid. He expected Goofar to start on the west side, but Goofar started on the east side there. And we got one puppy. No. Well, the bandit's already gone, so Randy didn't able to really do too much, thanks to the defender. Are right, the Pyro moving in here, and Pyro's not going to be able to do much either. Dies to a defender before dealing any meaningful damage. Does burn Goofar's commander a bit, but doesn't kill it. So neither player able to yep. really harass. Randy is the first one to start, who starts building his second set of maxes. Yeah, well, Google Frog going for heavy bandit usage. Very early, yep. unless you want to counter raid. But I think uh, Pyro's just murderize <laughs> uh, bandits. Well, well, micro we two glaze can be a Pyro, so I imagine two bandits would, two or three bandits would be fine. Because the Pyro has the same speed and more range, and it can jump. So, well, as long as you save the jump to get out, you'll never get caught. That's true. Anyway, it looks like Google Frog just going for defense with the bandits. He has a couple of them going for raiding, but mostly there's for defense, and that's not going to work out especially well, unfortunately. Although, actually, it might work okay. There's not a whole lot of defense over the east side of the map, so Google Frog is attacking from the right side, which is the correct side. If you can take out the puppy before it hits. There's not much else for Randy to stop those. I think so. I don't know. The puppy pretty much jumps into fire mode, which can't be hit immediately. Uh, yeah, there's no chance. However, oh, one crap. of the bandits does get through. You can't shoot it in missile form, so... Oh, no, it does kite it out! 
almost yeah, cuts it out. Puppies are so much bullshit. No offense. <laughs> I imagine that with the jump up being used a lot more as it is now, the puppies will probably get looked at a bit again. But they're they're a bit of an odd unit given the fact that they are a suicide unit. So, I mean, yeah, they're cheap and have the Grey Goo mechanic, but they're also a suicide unit that... They're 45 metal, right? 50. 50 here. They don't really make cost for the most part unless you... But they cannot be killed, right? In Not... the early game, they cannot miss. No. They get... Yeah, the fact that the missile isn't stoppable by hitting it. That is a bit of a problem. And it's gonna fire again. Oh, it missed. Eh? It missed, it overshot. I should really look into this. Uh, nothing of this makes any sense to me. Of what? The power, but whatever. The um, Pro Randy is already running away, eco economy wise. Yeah, 24 to 16, so Randy's well ahead here. He has two com uh, constructors and a commander making maxes. Google Frog only has uh, one constructor. So commander wants to pork up his main hill with defenders first. Yeah. I think against jumpers you're better off with LTs, but... You really are. I've... I don't know. I've used it in my own experience fighting jumpers. One or two LLTs is enough, period. That just does it. No matter what. So, I don't know. So, it looks like it is... Well... Gonna be Google Frog's attempt to try to harass out. That's the biggest thing. He needs to try to make sure that he has some way of making sure that Randy can't explode too much. But I'm not sure really what he has between all these puppies being built. And he's presumably... put all his income into Maxis. Yeah. And now his income will go to turrets. And at this point, Google Frog trying to rebuild turrets on top of the Maxis, but even then the puppies are going to get through that. And more power is being built with the caretaker up as well. Just to make sure that Randy does not float metal at this point. Google's way too passive. Well, but it's, it's not, not much surprising. Could, I mean, he couldn't have done anything differently, but it's just, yeah, Randy isn't. It's intimidating to play someone who's that much better than you. So, I imagine Google Frog is just feeling a bit intimidated, and it can be hard to be but, active in that situation. I don't think Google Frog is ever intimidated. You don't think so? I think he knows the game better than Randy does. Well, maybe, but... Actually, it might be wise getting the felon and just get rid of the puppies before anything happens. Yeah, and maybe you can uh, send the constructors to shield it, to provide shields. Yeah, that was actually a game I watched the other day on Vitra, a replay match that was Cube and Randy, and Randy actually ended up winning using shields. At one point, he did use a felon, shield, or felon convict ball, but... Cube ended up winning mostly by rogue spam. That was the way he actually ended up taking the game. I don't think that Google Frog is going to go for that. But I also think that Google Frog is going to have a bit of a better control of his felons. Still, against all these puppies, that's definitely a good choice. And Randy, however, probably learned from that. Micah from Moderators is going for airplanes. And here come the felons, which the puppies run away from. Everything runs away from. And turrets for a hard push. So Google Frog going for a bit of a hard push, and I think you might have expected that the east side is what Randy would take first and not the west side. But Randy has the west side. Actually, does Google Frog know that this... Yes, he does. His radar coverage is over there. He knows well enough what's happening. And Randy's it's... almost doubling the income now. Yeah, 42 to 25. That is difficficult to deal with. I'm a bit surprised that the center mechs here... There are four comics next to the center mechs. Why didn't Google Frog just take that? I don't know. Oh, uh. However, he is going to start taking out some of Randy's. <coughs> Excuse me. And from there, build it more and more lotuses. At least that's something, but I don't know. It's an odd way of going about this. A really strange way of doing this. Interdeed. Hmm? No, oh, nothing. Okay, anyway. Actually, no, rogues are being built. So it looks like rogues might be the option that Goofa goes, or at least in part. And as you saw from that QB game, that can work well, though Randy probably learned his lesson. He is getting Ravens. He will be able to deal with them without too much issue. Actually, he got Ravens last in the QB game, too, so... We'll see. I don't know. 
Depends how it goes, though at this point, Google Frog is a much weaker economy than I think Cubay had at that point. Randy is in a much better position. Moving forward to the Pyros, the Rogues are not in place yet, only a couple of them have been built. And I don't... I don't know, we are getting a lot of damage brought in here by the, by the Pyros. And another Raven coming in to get rid of this Felon as well. Actually, it's going to go down first, so it doesn't matter so much, but the Felon's going around. Going to help get rid of those Pyros, has to force them back. Ghoul Frog, not sure what he's planning on doing. Probably just get the Vandals for the anti-air and get the Rogues for everything else. So he's getting Vandals a lot faster than QB did. Mm. Not getting as many Rogues, though. And he needs to take care of that western side of the map, which is very well defended right now. So if he comes out from behind, it's actually going to be pretty open. That being said, though, the Vandals, there are enough in place to deal with all these these Shadows, say like Ravens, Pyros being pushed back. Phoenixes might be used, though. That could be a problem. I don't see what what's possible from here. Well, like I said, the last game it was basically Rocco Spam that managed to overwhelm the Pyros. With enough Vandals to get rid of the Ravens and basically cause Randy to be throwing a bunch of money in that wasn't getting used fast enough. But at this point, I think Randy has more energy and thus more overdrive. He has more metal. Cubay had taken the clusters early on. He didn't defend and then take clusters. He just took them immediately. So I think because of that, Google Frog is further behind in that respect. And also, Google Frog is not focusing on rogues. He's not going for rogues, fam. That would do the trick, but he only has about three or four rogues. Three rogues. Enough vandals to be safe, but only a few rogues, which is unfortunate. Still, he's trying to take out the center. Put in a vulnerable position, though, thanks to the low ground. And Pyro's coming to try to deal with this. Another felon coming in behind there. It will be pretty soon. He's going for pure convict felon. With Razor as well in the center of the map, so at this stage, the east side of the map is completely open. The north side is Google Frogs. The south side is Randy's. And... Yeah. The army size of both players are surprisingly equal, given the difference in income. For now, yes. Although Firewalker well, just, is up. <laughs> that just uh, increased its army yeah, value. Yeah, the Firewalker okay. just popped in. 1,200 metal. Bomb. That was That was the reason it just jumped. You're... That felon gonna try to just tank through some of this. The convict's not doing a great job, and the shadow coming, or Raven's coming in here to get rid of the felon. Once again, terrors by the felon, and nice Thunderbird attack on all the vandals, stopping them from doing anything. Pyro's pushing everything back, and I should point out also in the QA game, he actually did have the center for a little while. In this case, Google Frog never had the center. No. Unfortunately for Google Frog, he is being pushed back well into his base, and I don't know if there's any way out of this. Felon's gonna try to do what he can, but the Ravens have all gotten their bombs back. The Pyro might die. Kinda doubt it. The Firewalker able to just burn up all these units once again. Gonna go for it. It's Randy C. He sees a lot. He sees enough. He knows exactly what he needs to fight at. Doesn't need to worry that his Firewalker's being misused. There's really no bad targets right now. And a sumo attack, just to try to finish it off. <laughs> yeah. This is going to work. Unlike in the Cuba game, this sumo is going to work. Although it might push Google Frog into a bunch of Roccos, which could actually backfire. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. And Firewalker still able to just tear that landscape apart. Or burn it up. And... Hmm. So where is... Oh, sorry, I'm getting distracted. Firewalker, doing stuff, killing things, burning things. Randy is setting up more... He has his sumo up. Super important, this sumo here. That is yep. going to be a centerpiece. And that missile silo as well. I... 
don't see it. Thank you! Yes, Missile Silent, center of the map. Okay, good call. Yeah, Randy has that set up, and with that, he'll probably go for lots and lots of napalm missiles. He wants to just watch the world burn. Some That's people. what he was. Uh, what is this? Inferno, 100 of them. Yep. The Come on, the Firewalkers and the Pyros. Sheesh, he is... He just likes fire. Do you like... Play with fire. Uh, use there. Uh... No, the firewalker is not doing a whole lot, unfortunately. Not close enough. Same time, some bandits coming into counter raid. Try to just break a bit, but Randy has so much, and he's got. What does he have for energy right now? He has 271 energy and 69 <laughs> metal. Yeah, that's, that's just insane. And 10k power and or 10k metal and army size. And there goes the first napalm missile. Set out to burn everything. Especially those defender turrets. Yep. Paper turrets. Well... Hey, there's your counter! Oh, yeah, I know. Missile style is not really a counter. It's pretty late in the game. But still, something it exists. Another Inferno missile coming out, and that one is... That one's going straight for the army. Another one going as well for the army from the looks of it, I think. Oh, but a little bit too far back. The army's actually taking dealing from a of damage, so it looks like one of the Aspices does go down. The felon not down yet though, but not enough shield energy to really make Took it worthwhile. Took out about six pyros. Ah, uh, yeah. That that's another. Like but Raven uh, shot shield coming in. on the right side. Another. Oh yeah, there is. Another felon convict ball of the ravens have not lost all their bombs. Or actually they have! All the ravens have dropped all their bombs, so this felon ball could actually do stuff. At least for a little while, unimpeded. Take out the max. And assume here in the center, not actually doing much. So the infernal missiles trying to just burn everything up. <laughs> Burning out the front lines. Turn to souls. <laughs> Everything's fire, but ah, disarmed the felon. And a couple of the convicts to no avail. But still, disarmed the felon. And now this the Ravens will finish crazy. off. What's happening? Well, right now, another felon's gonna die. Yeah, make once, those LTs. Once that goes down, and... Actually, at the same time, though, this shield ball on the left is able to do some damage. Well, not quite able to do some damage. It'll get some LTs up. <laughs> Look, yeah, you're right, Lotus is just popping up. <laughs> And another set of LDs going. Lots of lotuses. Google Frog just going for lotus spam. Not even gonna. Doesn't care if it's orthodox or not. Just going for it. Lotus assaults. Lotus. Yep. Lotus. No, just lotus. lotus Bad. Oh, looks like these wind generators are a bit too close to each other. Starting to hit each other. Not quite chain reaction, but still, it's. <laughs> wow. Our raiders do not need guns. No, they don't. Yes, where they are going, they don't need guns. Oh, this fusion reactor, if you can kill that, that's going to be a bit of a blow. Oh, definitely. I'm sure he's going to go for that, go for the air factory. If it blows up, it should take out the caretakers as well. We'll see, though. At the same time, we do have more lo lotuses being built in the west side of <gasps> will very soon. And there it goes! Fusion plant goes off, kills off half the caretakers. There's still a sumo over here and a firewalker. <laughs> there is, but... There's only so much they can do. Where is the sumo? Oh, it's on the east side. Getting rid of everything here, but still... Randy lost a lot of economy there. Still a 94 energy, mind you. So he's healthy. But that's a lot to lose. And another set of losses coming in here. And it looks like... Are these pyros? The pyros, I think, are burning up. They're burning up Randy's stuff more than Google Frog is. <laughs> Friendly fire isn't friendly. How many times do I have to say that? And of course, Inferno Versus do not go through shields. They do set up fires, which is supposed to burn things around shields, but do not go through them directly. And Racketeers try to push through this. And it looks like Google Frog is going to turn this around. So much for this being game five minutes ago. Google Frog <laughs> about to get rid of the missile silo. Well, it's game three, and he's won the first two, so not that much yeah. of a concern. 
But still, I think... Well, Goofrog might pull this around. Hard to say, though, because it's... I mean, he did do a nice raid, but Randy, even with that raid, he was at 290 some on energy. Down to 95 compared to 50. Goofrog hasn't gone above that. So, even being raided out, Randy's still ahead in the economy. That's how superfluous his energy was. Yeah, it looks like yeah. these Ravens are getting disarmed out, which is useful, but at this point, I'm not sure if it matters. The Felon already died. Pyro is going to move in to finish things off. Google Frog building up more Vandals to try to get rid of those Ravens, but no other factory. No Fax Witch, nothing. Just pushing it. Heavy Shield Bot. Well, it's certainly an ingenious response going with the convicts and just building up a ton of lotuses. Uh, a sniper now. That would be a good idea. I could see that, but he'd have to go do his cloaky switch at that point. And he doesn't seem keen on doing any factory switches. However, we do have vandals in play, and they have helped out get rid of some of the vandals. I mean, get rid of some of the ravens. The firewalker, however, is pushing forward. Forcing the Vandals back. The Bandits could move forward to deal with the Firewalker, though. That actually would be a good idea. Another Asp is being built up. Possibly to help out with Felon, or possibly just to add more shields. There is still a Sumo to be taken care of. There is. It is slowly moving along the east side of the map. And a few Bandits will find it and will get killed very quickly by it. At the same time, the same Bandits should be able to get through and get rid of a Lotus without too much issue. Firewalker, however, not being attacked, and that Lotus does go down eventually, though the Bandits did take a bit more damage than they had to, thanks to the slow. And the Sumo doesn't stop the Freakers from dying, doesn't stop the Mechs from dying, but Randy still is ahead. He has twice the income, or twice the metal value. He has just a bit more metal income, but he has, actually his energy income is dropping as well. Hmm. His energy income is starting to go down. So it might actually that raid might actually be starting to pay off somewhat. So Google Frog still needs to be careful building up a lot of his metal army value is in Vandals. Anti-air. Not going to help yeah. out so much when it comes to actually dealing with things like the Sumo here. Which, Racketeers aren't even... They aren't even phasing with Disarm. He's got so much health. And Puppies over. West side of the map. Puppies taking the Reclaim Fields. Spawning more themselves and just... Eating up, making more of them. They're going to just overrun everything right now. And the Felon... There's no Felon... In, oh, no, there's a Felon in play. That'll help out against the puppies quite a lot. But even then, I don't know. 56 puppies. That seems a little ridiculous. <laughs> and, that being said, the Sumo is taking some disarmed damage. Not very much, though. Needs to be hit more conventionally, and this Felon's going to drain all the shields with the Sumo. Once the Sumo gets close, that is huge. And down goes the entire ball of shields. Sumo tanks that tanks that hard, and down goes the Commander as well. Goofa loses his Commander, about to lose his Felon. His entire base is being assaulted, and if that doesn't kill him, Sumo and the Pyros don't kill him, then 91 puppies. <laughs> that. That will kill him. More than 91 now, or 81. They're getting damaged lately, but they are attacking as well. All the puppies. And all the puppies reproducing off of the other puppies' destruction. Puppies everywhere. That sounds cute and adorable, but it's not. Not when they're explosive missile puppies, and that is game. That is match. That and is the Randy tournament. Randy takes it 3 to 0. Randy does indeed take it 3 to 0 against Google Frog. So congratulations to Randy for winning. Congratulations to Google Frog for getting second place because that's not easy. Especially, well, Lowry is quite a strong player. So yeah, definitely interesting game. Nice shot of the comeback, but overall, neat games. Glad to cast them. Thank you all for watching. You. Yep. And now I am going to collapse in a heap. Yeah, so. you uh, just sleep. And then you sleep some more and sleep some more. Have a good time of day, everybody. <laughs> you...